What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are bringing you guys a solid meta team that features one off meta Pokemon, Diggersby. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Get on top of that, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. It really does go a long way. And you guys can also turn on those notification bells so you don't miss out on any of my content. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Zazie. Like I just mentioned, this team is pretty meta, but it does have the off-meta Pokemon, which is why I'm using it. We got Zacian, Interpret Sword, Rusted Sword as item and ability, and then normal moveset with Iron Head, Player Rough, Sacred Sword, and Protect. Right next to him is going to be that lovely Whimsicott. Great for speed control, great for support. It's got the Prankster as its ability, obviously, and then it's got the Eject Button as its item. Rocket Tailwind, Moon Blast for our stab hitting move, Protect, and Encore to Encore any other Pokemon on the opposing team. So that move does come in clutch sometimes. It really does. Middle left is going to be the star of the show. We got Diggersby over here with huge power and life orb. You guys do not know what huge power does. It doubles its physical attack stat. So we're going to Dynamax this Pokemon. We're going to have life orb. We're going to have its ability all stacking up, and this thing's going to be able to do a crazy amount of damage. We got high horsepower and giga impact, both for our stab moves. We got rock slide for coverage, and last but not least, we're rock and protect. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rollboom, and this Rollboom is made to hit a little bit harder than normal Rollbooms. It's got Grassy Surge, Miracle Seed, Grassy Glide, Fake Out, Protect, and then big heavy stab hitting move with Wood Hammer. That's why I said this Rollboom's made the hit a little bit harder than other ones. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Kyogre. This one's with that Soul Fest and it's with the Drizzle ability. So I like this one because you can Dynamax him very, very easily. You can be bulky and Dynamax, or you can just leave him as B and just do normal Water Spouts and Kyogre things. We got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Ice Beam for a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Final Pokemon on the squad is as meta as it gets. It's the most meta Incineroar out there. It's Intimidate, Shukaberry, Fake Out, Flare Blitz, Party Shot, Throw Chop, Incineroar. Come on, that's so meta. That is so meta. But like I said, this team's pretty powerful. It's pretty meta, but it's Rocket Digger Speed. But guys, there's the team preview. You guys want to run this code for yourself. The run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 12 Digger Speed team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Xerneas and Zacian team that also features Torkoal and Venus for combo with Indeedee and Landers. I really do not see him bringing the Torkoal combo, considering there's no Trick Room. I feel like it's only there for Trick Room. But uh, yeah, I think he's definitely got Xerneas ready. I think he's gonna try to set that up, so I kind of want to like lead something to kind of counter that. But I think we can take speed pretty easily with Whimscott and kind of roll from there. But our only problem would be if he goes into the Xerneas, and then it could be a problem. It could definitely be a problem. But do I really want to go Whimscott? Not really, not really. I kind of just want to go into like Kyogre, and Kyogre and Zacian is not looking too bad here. Or we can go into Digger Speed and just Dynamax straight off the rip, which is pretty powerful. It is pretty powerful. But I think we should be fine with going in here, and. Like Diggersby, right? Or we can go into Sassian. I do like Sassian. Bring Diggersby in the back end. And then last but not least, we can roll with Incineroar. Just for Intimidates. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's at least grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, Xerneas is always so scary. It's always one of those scary Pokemon that's a, that's a pain. That's a pain. Once it gets set up, it can really do your team dirty. It really can. But I think a Water Spout can do a decent amount of damage to him. And really pose a threat to him as well. So, feeding this lovely little Kyogre is going to be good for us. It's going to be good for us. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up leading. Bum, ba, da, bum. Xerneas and Indeedee. I knew it, dude. I knew it. Luckily, I do have this Kyogre on the field. We can chip off some damage. I'm definitely going to fly, fly into a Water Spout here. And then, uh, what am I going to after that? Let's go into a Behemoth Blade. I wish I would have went into somebody who can, like, set up like, a Swords Dance or something. That would have been gorgeous. That would have been gorgeous. Or, like, you don't really see that too much in this in this uh, format. The Dragon Dances and Swords Dance. Because, like, usually you're going to get your stats boost from your Dynamax Pokemon. That's silly fun. All right, so Psychic Surge is going to come out here. I'm guessing it's rocking the Siege, right? No, it could be Sash. could definitely be Sash. So Water Spout's going to fly. We're going to send in Water Spout, and I think we just go for Behemoth Blade. It's our best bet. This is definitely our best bet. Let's see what he does. But this is not bad for us. It really isn't bad for us. He's going to go for the Follow Me. He's going for the Setup. He's going for the Setup all day long. He's going for the Setup all day long. We're going to be able to take out Indeedee, no problem. We're going to be able to chip up some damage over onto Xerneas. Over onto that lovely little Xerneas. So Behemoth Blade flies here. Look at this damage. Huge damage. Huge damage. That's gorgeous. Geomancy's gonna come out here, and this thing outspeeds us. This thing is cooking now. It's set up fully. It's ready to roll. And it gets that special defense boost. Oh my god. I'm terrified. This thing's dynamaxing. This thing is going to tee off on me. It is going to tee off on me. I, this is so rough. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what should I do? 
What should I do? It's just such a huge problem. It's such a huge problem. We're gonna roll water spout. Look how much it soaks that up, yo. With a plus two on special defense, that is enormous. So the setup's here. He set it up. God dang it. God dang it. What do we do from here? What's the play, Jeans? What's the play? This thing is boosted. Speed plus two, special defense plus two, and uh, special attack plus two. He's gonna end up rolling into landers for intimidate and. This one hurts. This one hurts. This one definitely hurts. We're just gonna go into another water spout here. Right, water spout's gotta be your play. Or do we origin pulse? I think we origin pulse just in case he hits me with like a gleam or something. And then we double straight down in this thing. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. So we're gonna go into the origin pulse. Because again, that thing outspeeds me now. And if he goes for a clean, water spout's gonna do no damage. So it's good to swap there. And we do have the soul fest to probably soak up at least a clean. But is there any smite dynamics here? And it is going to. Where's that Lando? That could be Lando. It could definitely be Lando. I wouldn't be surprised to see if it is Lando's. Let's see how this one plays out. Gonna end up dying in the max the Xerneas. So the deer gets it. Oh god. Oh god. Leave me alone, dude. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me get off this behemoth blade that I do not think we're gonna be able to get off. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna guard. Okay, so he's guarding here. That's fine. We still have an origin pulse ready to go. As long as my Kyra can outspeed. It'd be huge. He does not outspeed. So he's going to chip up some damage, but still, Kyogre should just be able to do some work. And Zacian should be able to eat that up. Yes, sir. Run it. Run it. Run it all day. Origin Pulse just connect onto that Lando and we'll be fine. We'll be cooking. Block. Just land on. Just land on. Let's go. Later. Later, Lando. So we get rid of Landorus. That's huge. That is huge. That's enormous. We get rid of Landorus and uh, kind of just chilling here. We're kind of chilling here. Let's see who his final Pokemon is. Hopefully somebody that uh that I'm faster than. It's gonna be Zassy. Ooh, that's a little tough. That's a little tough. Um, I could protect my my own Zassian. Kind of keep him in for another turn, but it's really not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna go into an Origin Pulse, send that, and uh, uh both of his Pokemon outspeed me. And I guess we'll go for Behemoth Blade. It's real rough. That's real rough. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. But we still have our Incineroar in the back end just to drop an Intimidate on that, and then we have our Dynamax Pokemon in the back end as well. So he's gonna starfall here. Dun, 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 dun. Later, Kyogre. Kyogre goes down, and maybe, maybe my Zassian outspeeds. That could be big. If my Zassian outspeeds here, that could be huge. Because this will be double. This will take out Xerneas, no problem. This will take him out, no problem, win this match. No, he outspeeds us. Come on, man. Come on, man. I want to check the speeds later, see if it was a speed tie. That's rough. That could have been so good for us. That could have been so good for us. Because if I was him, I would have went into Zassian, or I would have went into, uh, my Zassian with his Xerneas, because we all know that Xerneas is fast on the field. And then we know that the Zassian will outspeed the, uh, well, what's it called? The Kyogre. So that's what I would have done. So he almost made a big mistake. Almost made a big mistake. We're going to roll out into our Incineroar. And we're also going to roll out into our lovely little Diggersby here. And I think we have to max guard our Diggersby, right? I think we have to max guard our Diggersby and waste out this last turn. And kind of just go from there. And I think uh, Zassian is going to protect, right? Do I make that read? I could definitely make that read. But uh, I just want to check this thing's speed real quick. Let me see your speed, dude. Let me see your speed. So he's not maxed out in speed. That's a little rough. He's not maxed out. He's adamant. Okay. Okay, so he it, it probably wasn't a speed tie. Probably wasn't a speed tie. But I got a Dynamax here. I got to go into a Max Guard. And we, I got to roll out from here. So Max Guard. And I think I'm just going to Parting Shot onto this thing. I think I'm just going to Parting Shot. Because I think the Zassian is going to protect here. I really do. I probably should have faked it out just in case. Could have been a problem for us. But I'm going to make the hard read. He knows we're rocking fake out. He knows we're ready to roll with that. So we're going to read the protect. We're going to read the protect. Well, yo, show me that thing's protected. We can get off a nice little turn. And we can have, uh, hopefully, uh, Xerneas go after my Digger Speed. That could be a good turn for us. So let's see what he does. He ends up protecting. So, so far, so good. Yo, we need the Xerneas to go after my Digger Speed here. Come on, yo, Xerneas, go after Digger Speed. Let's have some fun here. No, dude! He goes after my Incineroar. Get out of my face. Eat this up. That's rough. That is rough. Okay, uh, how do we play this one? <laughs> how do we play? We're dead. We're dead. There's no way we can win this one. There's no possible way we can win this one. Right? Because Behemoth Blade's going to fly through here. He outspeeds me, and then he has... It's just... It's just over with. It's just all over with. So from here, I mean, we could go for this. Maybe make something happen. Maybe he misses a shot, but... Chances are, nah, yo. Moon Blast. Even just, like, a one Moon Blast from, a uh, Xerneas can take us out. Same thing with Behemoth Blade. That's tough. Gleam's going to fly through here. Look at that damage. Ridiculous. And the Behemoth Blade flies, right? Yeah. GG's. Wow, dude. 
the power of Xerneas. Like I said in the beginning, I said, I'm scared of that Xerneas. Once it gets set up, it is a powerhouse. But we end up losing battle number one. We don't really even get to show off things. So let's hop through a second battle, show this Pokemon off to its fullest potential. Is this the same exact team that we just first in battle number one? Is this the same exact person? I do not know. Somebody has to let me know in the comment section down below. This is weird. This is weird, but we cannot allow that Xerneas to set up here in battle number two. We cannot allow it. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We could take Tailwind, Speed Control, and kind of roll out from there. I do like that because that will allow my Kyogre to go first. I do like that. So I'm, I'm thinking of just leading them two and then kind of rolling into like Zassian because then Zassian can outspeed Xerneas after Tailwind all day. All day, so I'm really digging that. So we're gonna go Zassian, we're gonna go Whimscott, we're gonna set up Tailwind, and we're gonna get Buzzer from there. And then obviously, we gotta bring the Diggersby, man. Diggersby gotta get rolling out here in battle number two and get some work done. And get some work done. But yo, this is weird, right? Isn't this the exact same team? I'm pretty sure it is. If this is the exact same person, we gotta beat him. We have to beat him. <laughs> like, we gotta beat him. Let's see who he goes into. Is he gonna be Indeedy Xerneas? Are they rocking into it? Are they gonna rock and roll into it? Let's see what he does. Let's see the play. Xerneas and Indeedy. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. All right, we're ready to roll with this one. We are ready to roll with the Water Spout Tailwind combo. The Water Spout Tailwind combo can roll out here. And I'm curious. No, Prankster. Can Prankster work in Psychic Train? No, it cannot. So I was going to say, we could. We could Encore that thing. Oh, yo, we, we could Dynamax drop a Lightning and then just Encore. But then Follow Me could definitely poke out and it could be a bit. It could be a problem. It could be a problem. But yeah, we're going to Tailwind. Love a little Tailwind. And we're going to Water Spout. So our last problem in the last battle was Xerneas was plus two on defense when it ate the Water Spout. So with this one, it can bring him down like, pretty close to red and uh, really pose a threat. So Tailwind's going to be huge here. Tailwind is definitely going to be huge. So I'm really digging it. I'm loving it. Let's see how this person rolls out. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Tailwind coming in hot. Oh, uh, hey, send it. Send it, baby. So we got the Tailwind. We have some speed. And no follow me coming in. No follow me. So Water Spout's just going to poke and it's going to do some big old damage. Big old damage all around. We love it. We love it. We bring that thing down to its focus ash. And this thing's going to set up a Geomance. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Definitely cool with that. It is scary, but I'm cool with it. And what is Indeedy going for? What is Indeedy going for? I'm curious to see what Indeedy's going for. So Geomance pops out here. He's got the speed. Uh, my Wimscott might be faster than Xerneas, but I know that my Kyogre is not. Let's see. Mystical Fire coming He's going to Mystical Fire my Whimsicott. Whimsicott's going to be able to soak that up all day. And then, uh, what do we do from here? What do we do from here? Oh, yo, that's... Oh, that's, that's a jack button. That, I forgot about that. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That allows me to throw in my Zacian, who is 100% faster than that Xerneas, and is ready to roll. That's, that's just a huge turn. That's just one of the... Oh, but he could follow me. He could definitely follow me. He could definitely follow me, but... Mm, what do I do? What do I do? Do I... Do I Dynamax Kyogre? I could Dynamax Ogre. I could definitely Dynamax Kyogre. I don't know. What do we do? Do we protect and we go for like maybe like a a Water Spout here or an Origin Pulse? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because if the Follow Me comes through here, that, that really does us dirty. That really does us dirty and I, I, can't, I can't deal with it. So let's see. Follow Me. He does. Okay, so that's a great read by us. See, we thought about our options. I'm hoping that my uh, boy can eat up the Staz and Gleam, right? He's gonna go for a Thunder? Eat this up. You have a Soul Fest. Okay, I love you. I love you. Don't be paralyzed. Cool. Origin Pulse flies. Beautiful. Perfect. I was... Yo, what? What Xerneas rocks Thunder? That almost just did me so dirty. So that's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. We have Tailwind and we have the two best restricted minds in the game now. That's cool. Yo, I was like, what is going... Yo, that was like a what moment. I was like, okay, hopefully we get you up with Dazzle Gleam. Things drops out of thunder. Yo, what is going on? What is going on? He's going to end up bringing out Torkoal. Oh, I'm cool with Torx coming out here. I'm cool with Torx coming out here. And be Oh, and Venus. Really. We should still be a bit fast. She's probably going to Dynamax Venusaur, so I'm just going to throw a Blade right into it. And I say I swap my Kyogre. Right into the Wimscott, right? Swap him into the Wimscott and just Behemoth Blade right here. Yeah, I'm just swapping into the Wimscott. So Wimscott can't really do anything anymore. He's kind of just there. <laughs> He's kind of just there. So if we can get rid of this weather, we can, we can play for the late game. So I'm going to swap the Kyogre. We need the weather later. And we're going to go into Whimsy Whimsy. Now, the problem here would be if he's, if he protects and then... Uh, or if he max guards here. 
and then rolls to eruption. That could be a problem, but I still think we can be thriving at that point. I really do. I really still think we can be thriving. But it is tough because you know Venusaur is an absolute menace. Absolute menace. This dog, dude. This dude eats. This dude eats. So hopefully he's not Max Garden and we get off this huge behemoth blade. See what he does. He does not. Oh, that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. So I don't mind. I don't mind both these Pokemon dying after we get off this Behemoth Blade. Cause look at his damage right here. And a damn. Oh my, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Violash gonna come through here. He's gonna hit up on Whimsicott, and Whimsicott's gonna be able to soak that up. But again, Eruption. I think it's just gonna fly and double down and take us both. Right. I'm fine with that. Though. I'm fine with that. Eruption coming in hot. Uh, he sends it, and I, we might still have one more turn left to Tailwind. Oh, but my boy eats it. Oh my. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. But even if we don't have Tailwind, I could bring out Digger Speed here. So I kind of want to bring out Digger Speed, but at the same time, it's like, dude, I can't. I can't. It's, we got to bring out Kyogre here. Wait, do I just bring out Kyogre? We go from there. Yeah, as much as I want to bring out Digger Speed, I want, I want to win this battle. So I'm, I'm going to go out with Kyogre. I'm going to bring out Kyogre. We're switching the weather right back into our favor. And I should be faster than both of them, right? Yeah, it should be pretty much a wash. This battle should be washed, right? Self Tailwind. He might double down on Protect. If he does, it's fine. I'm just going to take a sword and I'm just going to drop an Origin Pulse. It's a play all day. It's my play all day. I still have my Dynamax. We, hopefully, we can win this battle without even Dynamax. That'd be cool. But yeah, he's going to guard. I think he doubles down on the guards, right? Yeah. But I thought. But I thought. And he's going to let the Vine Lash take out my Zassian and I'm just going to Dynamax next turn. And I'm just going to go into a Dynamax next turn. Origin Pulse coming in hot. And bye bye Zassian. So that scene's gonna drop out. Um, I think Tailwind might end too. But I wonder if uh, Digger Speed can actually outspeed a Venusaur. Is it uh, G-Max Vine Lash could do some wicked damage to me. Could definitely do some wicked damage to me. But I think we should be fine. I really do. I really do think we should be fine, even without Digger Speed. Like I just think Kyrie's gonna clean up this battle with one. Right? Sounds pretty promising. It does sound pretty promising. But we're gonna Dynamax. I am just gonna go into. Do I go into a strike? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure this Venusaur goes down. Here. Cause I can take out. I can take out what's called all day. I can take out Torkoal all day long. Torkoal is not taking out my Digger Speed. The only threat is going to be that Venusaur taking out my uh, my Digger Speed. You know, cause say we miss this Origin Pulse and we double down into the Torkoal, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a problem. So I'd rather just get rid of the Venusaur and deal with the Torkoal one. Cause again, Torkoal cannot take out Digger Speed. Digger Speed can one shot that thing with the Max Quake. And we can roll from there. So I feel like going into this is definitely our play. 100% our play. Digger Speed might not even get off a turn. So I think the Origin Pulse is just going to fly and we're just going to take him out, right? Origin Pulse comes out here. And who does? See, Venusaur dodges it. Venusaur dodges that. We take out the Torkoal. And here's the problem. This is exactly why we went after uh, Venusaur here. Oh, wait. Is Vine Lash going to take out my Kyogre? Okay. He, okay. That's beautiful. That's fine. That's GG's. That's GG's. That could have been rough if he Vine Lash into my... Uh, Diggersby took him out and the Vine Lash damage taken out my brother. That could have been bad, but we maxed strike into this Venusaur. We say GG's. Diggersby comes into the last uh last little slot and picks up the win for us. We're sitting at one and one. Let's grab ourselves some winning record. We're going up against a really cool team right here. It's an Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Zama's at a team that has Stoutland, Basharp, Meowstic, and Stockataka. So Trick Room is definitely a, an option. It's definitely a huge option. We gotta go into, I think, like a Pokemon like Incineroar. Or Kyogre is a great little start, but I got to watch out for that fake out with Meowstic, who I do think he's going to lead, and I think he's going to roll out into. So I could go into Rillaboom as a lead, or Incineroar, and just to fake him out instead. But I really want to see. I want to see who's faster. Rillaboom's going to be a bit faster. So I kind of want to go into Rillaboom. But I do, I, I like Incineroar way better, especially up against a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm going to lead these two. We're going to bring Diggersby. Diggersby, you're going to Dynamax, and we got to bring in Zassian. We got to bring in Zassian. Zassian is just way too strong not to bring. He's just way, he's way too strong. It's like, dude, I have to bring him in every single battle. Even if he's just rocking a bunch of Pokemon that can one-shot him. I still gotta rock. I'm pretty sure he outspeeds most Pokemon. He can just roll out and do some big damage. Especially with Dynamax format. He's gotta be. He's gotta be in there. He's gotta be in there. But let's see who this person leads. Meowstic and somebody else. Yep, Meowstic and Cali Cali. Meowstic and Cali Cali. So our options could be to, uh... We gotta go into a fake out here, right? Hmm. This is tough. Hopefully my uh I think I have to I think I fake out the what's it called? I think I fake out the Ice Rider Calyx. Right? That's gotta be our play. We have to fake out the Ice Rider Calyx. The reason I say that is because 
if Meowstic fakes out my Kyogre, if Meowstic fakes out my Kyogre, then we fake out the Ice Rider Kyogre. It's kind of just like a neutral turn. But if I fake out the Meowstic and that thing outspeeds me, then the Ice Fighter Calyx is still going to be able to go. So I'm just going to drop a Water Spout here. I think it's a safe play, and I think I'm just going to fake out. Yeah, that's my play all day. Unless Meowstic pop in Shirker. Quick Guard coming in. That's fine. That's fine, a Quick Guard. I still get off this Water Spout, though. I'm cool with that. I still get off this Water Spout. I still get off this Water Spout. Look at that damage. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. This thing's rocking Eject Button. Okay. And now it's ready to roll. Now it's ready to roll. It's going to pop a Trick Room, and it's it's going to get cooking. It's going to get cooking. Imagine if I would have read a Quick Guard. Wow, that was actually smart by him. He's real smart. He's going to bring in Zombs out, and he's going to pop a Trick Room, right? Trick Room all day. It's got to be. It's got to be the lovely little Trick Room. Trick Room, yeah. The Trick Room's out and about. I still think we're looking pretty good here. I think I drop an Origin Pulse, and I could Parting Shot here, too. Yeah, I think Origin Pulse is definitely a play. We could drop the Origin Pulse, and uh, yeah... Party shot is just looking like our best bet, right? Going into the Zamazetta, swapping to maybe Diggersby? I do like that. You know, oh, you little biscuit. You know, wide guard here. Nice play by him. Nice call. He's going to high horsepower into me. Can you eat that up? Eat that up all day. We'd love that. We'd love that. So we're going to party shot out. We're going to bring out Diggersby and we're going to get thriving from here. Actually, Diggersby's looking a little tough because those base moves. I right, bring out Zacian. I mean, I could bring out Diggersby and just hard swap. Force an ice move and just hard swap into, uh... Yo, wait, why did my Shookaberry pop there? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute! I have a Shookaberry on my Incineroar! Give me one, give me one second. Hold up, I have a Shookaberry on my Incineroar, don't I? What? He just used high horsepower on me! What did, where... Why did my Shookaberry pop? Does someone have Unnerve? Oh, he has Unnerve. Never mind. My fault. My fault. That's Gene's fault. That's Gene's fault. I always just, I always think of Chilling Nay when I think of abilities. That's my fault. I could Dynamax here. Um, hmm. Could Dynamax. I think Origin Pulse might be a play. Or I can just drop a straight Thunder. I gotta get rid of you. I'm just gonna protect. Dude, I'm thinking of just hard swap next turn. Or this turn. And you know, I'm gonna just hard swap it right back into my Sinor. Up right back into him. Maybe we'll go for another wide guard. That could be cool. That could be cool, but we gotta save our diggers, we do. Go into the Cinemoro. Let's pop the Intimidate on two physical attackers. That's just now we have this Ice Rider Kylox to minus two. Shouldn't be able to do that much damage, but yeah, I was so confused of why a Shookaberry didn't pop. Then I realized it. Okay, oh cool, he's Dynamax. I'm with it. I'm with it. I think he's gonna Dynamax and go for an ice move onto my Incineroar, right? Yeah. Dynamax and Icy. We get off a of thunder here. Maybe he's going for another wide guard. That'd be that'd be cool if he's going for another wide guard too. How we Dynamax is this Ice Rider Calyx with this much HP. It's fine. Is he going for another wide guard? He does not. He goes straight for an overgrowth. Wow, we actually might be able to eat up eat up this overgrowth. And all day, baby. All day. Let's go. Let's go. Do not double down into it. Do not double down on my Kyogre. Do not double down on my Kyogre. Go for a Behemoth Bash into what's going on. oh we just out speed thunder comes out here give me the power give me the power no power any howls he's gonna howl okay that's pretty good so he howls he's gonna start getting rolling here and uh what do we do from here again we're just slowly wasting out these trick room turns i'm totally fine with five diggers being us dashing in the back end i feel like we can really be thriving he doesn't pick up the ko and i'm gonna go for a parting shot here just to have him in the back end i'm gonna go for this origin pulse and yeah, I'm just going to parting shot again. Actually, I could double down into this. I'm going to double down. I'm doubling down. Is he going wide guardian? If he breathes me with a wide guardian, I'm going to be upset. Ends up withdrawing. That's cool. I'm cool with that. But I think either way, we take out Calyrex here. Unless he guards. It's not. He goes straight for the Max Quake. That's fine. We should be able to pick up a double kill here. So he Max Quakes into my lovely Incineroar. Incineroar drops out. He's going to get chilling. They boost it. But we need this Origin Pulse to connect. And this Origin Pulse connects. We're sitting in such a good spot because that's a huge double KO. We still have Dynamax. We can roll out from there. We can roll out from there. Come on, Origin Pulse. Kyogre, I need you here. Kyogre, I need you here. I need you here. Just, just this is this is all I need from you. It's just double connect here. Oh, I love you. I love you, Kyogre. Big old double kill. Taking out his Dynamax. Taking out Meowstic. Now I'm gonna roll out in the Diggersby. I'm gonna Dynamax him, and we're gonna we're gonna get rolling with this battle. We are gonna get. Rolling.
Let's go. Let's get it. That's huge turn. That's huge turn. Okay, so Kyogre's sitting at about half HP. 91. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, but we got our boys Digger Speed and we have a Dynamax. We've been playing super well with this uh with late game with this uh team right here. Playing super well with the late game. He's gonna go into Stoutland, which I'm kinda scared of. And I'm gonna go into Digger Speed, and then who was his final Pokemon after that? Did he swap into anything? Oh, it's uh, the Zamazetta. So Zamazetta is going to come back out here. He has a defense boost. Um, What do I do? What do I do? Dynamax going to a max strike. We could, or we could just Quake. Quake is probably your best bet. Get some special defense boost, even though I think both these guys are physical attacking. I know the Zamazetta is, but I don't know much about the stat. But we can obviously go into this. We can obviously go into this. And we'll go after this. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because Behemoth Bash is a little scary. He can do double damage to me. In the Dynamax, but it is what it is. And Digger's B might be able to outspeed the Zamazetta in this uh in this trick room. Because Zamazetta's mediocre with speed. Same thing with Digger's B. But our only problem really in the trick room was that Ice Rider counter. So we played that one pretty solid. Getting in our uh Incident War at good times, rolling out with that, getting to intimidate, and allowing our Pokemon to soak up shots. He's gonna go for a wide guard. That's that's fine. You can keep wide guarding. He can keep wide guarding. I have my boy here, and he's gonna howl. See, yo, he has double how Pokemon. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. But we got huge power. We have Life Orb. We have a chance to do a... Just a absolute a big amount of damage here. Plus, it's a stab move. Quake's going to fly through here. I know it is boosted on defense, but still. Let's get after it. Look at that damage. Look at that damage on the Zamazetta. Zamazetta rips, dude. Zamazetta rips. But we get that special defense boost. Even though I don't really think it's going to do too, too much. I think we should be fine here. Origin Pulse, and I think Trick Room ends soon, so him wide guarding like that is just wasting Trick Room turns. So it's good and kind of bad. Rain stops, there's one more turn left in Trick Room. Let's thrive out. Let's thrive out. Digger's B's gonna get his HP back from that Life Orb. That's huge. And Kyogre's gonna go up even more on the board and go into the green. We would like it. He goes right into the green. Right into that green. Oh, Trick Room's gone. That's, ooh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Uh, I think we just go into another Origin Pulse. Right, we gotta go into another origin pulse. Like, if he doesn't wide guard it, I mean, if he wide guards it, he wide guards it. It's not a big deal. He must bash gonna come in here. Should be able to soak up. Right, that should be easy eats for you. There's no way Zamazetta kills me in one shot. I get Zassian because that thing is just a huge attacker, but this thing, no way. A lot closer than I thought. <laughs> a lot closer than I thought. A lot closer than I thought. Origin pulse gonna poke here. Might be able to take out Zamazetta, but do some big damage on the Stalin. Let's see. Pick up KO here. I was ripping. Go ahead, Diggersby, go next. Cool. Diggersby, go next. That's GG's. We still have Zassian in the back. That's just gorgeous. That is just lovely. The only way we were kind of like having a shot at losing this battle was if that uh, Statlin came over or outsped my Diggersby. Took him out. But nah, yo. It's over with. Get this guy out of here. Get this dude out of here. We're going to grab ourselves a winner record. And we get to fully show up Diggersby in a third and final battle. Because you know the first two battles, he was there, but he didn't really do much. He didn't really do much. Statlin's going to go for a howl. This thing's just howling up, just trying to get attack boost. But now, nah, you know, it's saying, it, you, you're done. Just leave the battle. Cancel the battle. We coming straight after you. We coming after you. It's either he cancels the battle or he takes an origin pulse to the face alongside with a max quake. This dude's options. This dude's call. Boom. 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 There's origin pulse into max quake. And I think our opponent just canceled the battle, right? Yep. Battle was canceled. We grab ourselves another winning record for Sword and Shield. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another winning record for Sword and Shield Ranked Double Battles. We got to show off this Digger Speed team to its fullest potential and roll out with all the meta Pokemon alongside with Digger Speed. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.